Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm 17. I'm a senior in high school. And right now, I'm currently sitting at home in my bedroom, finishing watching Vlogbrothers videos and scrolling through my Tumblr dashboard. I'm sitting in my house on Tumblr because I can't go out because right now Hurricane Sandy is breaching around me. And I don't know, I was just thinking about my senior year thus far and how it's probably been the best year of high school I've ever had. I found a group of friends that are nerd fighters like I am. I have an amazing boyfriend. I got over depression that I had been battling with for about five years. And just my life is a lot better now than it was when I was, say, a freshman. And I owe some of it to reading books, especially books by my two favorite authors in the entire world, John Green and Stephen Chbosky. I appreciate Stephen Chbosky because he is a local author. He is from Pittsburgh. I know of his hometown. I've been in it. I have been in the same movie theater, Sea Rocky, as he's seen. I, I wanted to go when he went a couple of weeks ago, but I did not get the chance to, sadly. I know exactly where all the places he's talking about in those books are. And The Perks of Being a Wallflower is probably one of the most moving books I've ever read. Now, my other author, John Green, is who I'm actually directing this video to. Hi, John, if you read this, I'm a huge fan. Well, I started being a nerd fighter kind of after my friend Olivia told me about it. We call her Liv. She was telling me about this guy who makes YouTube videos. Now, Liv isn't an avid reader, but she knew, she was like, oh, he's an author. And I didn't really check it out. I'll be completely honest, I didn't really check it out. Until one day, I was in the library, and I picked up this book called Looking for Alaska. And I said, well, this looks like a good book. I'll read it. So I read it, and I read it in about two days. I couldn't put it down. I was so enamored with this book and so amazed at this book that I just couldn't put it down. I couldn't stop reading it. I wanted to know what happened. And the book made me so sad and so happy at the same time because it made me feel like I'm not the only teenage girl in the world even if Alaska was just a fictional character it made me feel like I wasn't alone in being sad and being lonely and not knowing what to do when you've lost someone special now I haven't I didn't lose my mother my mother's still alive but I did lose a best friend when I was a sophomore in high school and she died very young. She was the same age as me. We were both 16 when it happened. It was actually on my 16th birthday. And it was probably one of the most devastating moments of my life. But I got through it thanks to my nerdfighter friends. Thanks guys, I love you. My, and my love for books. Just, I didn't, when I was sad, I'd read a book. When I was angry, I'd read a book. And a lot of times they were John Green books, and I got through book after book after book, just completely enamored which, with each and every one, and each and every one made me feel better. And now I'm completely happy. I still miss my friend, but I'm happy. And I owe so much to John for that, and your and Hank's videos, they make me laugh so much. I always watch them when I'm in a bad mood. Or, you know, if I had a long day, you know, I'll pull up my phone and then I'll watch a video in City Hall. And just, it makes me feel better to know that there are other people like me that fangirl that jump around in our chairs when something exciting is happening. Like, or, like, in my house I feel a little different because I'm the only, like, my mom likes to read a lot, but she reads different books than I do. She doesn't appreciate the books that I appreciate. And, like, I'm the only one in my family that watches Doctor Who or The Big Bang Theory. And so when I when these shows come on, I get so excited. And I'm, like, jumping in my chair and being the excited little nerdy fangirl that I am. And it's hard being in your house and having no one that understands that, really. Being that excited over something and 
you know, wanting to go to this concert or wanting to see this movie because it's, it has a nerdy connection, you know? And, like, no one understands why I feel that way. But when I watch your videos and I see the comments and I make so many nerdy friends and I found those people in my high school that appreciate what I appreciate and we have our own entire movie group and just, I made so many connections from just being a nerd fighter and enjoying these books and just having fun with all of this and I'm so happy that I made these connections and I made these friends and just thank you to my favorite authors John Green especially who I'm hoping sees this video I am such a fan and Stephen Chbosky who is an inspiration as, long, as well as John Green and Hank Green you're an inspiration as well you're so funny but I also honestly also have a question for any fellow nerd fighters who might see this. About two months ago, my high school had an assembly. And the assembly was supposed to be a speaker that was going to speak to us about peer pressure and, you know, stay away from drugs and don't bully. And I said, okay, well, you know, high schools do this. Schools in general do this. It's fine, whatever. I don't particularly care. I'll get through it. It was an hour assembly. I got out of class for it. Cool. Well, the assembly turned into what was supposed to be a motivational speaker. We ended up just watching a video for an hour. And the video at first, you know, concentrated on working hard. You know, don't fall into peer pressure for doing drugs or being a bully. But then they were starting to talk about addictions. And I thought, okay, I'm singing drugs, alcohol, kind of stuff that I'm not a fan of. And I try to keep away from, even though I do know people and I'm friends with people that do do those things. But I came a point in the video where that wasn't the topic, and they were telling us that books are an addiction, and not like in a good way, that books are bad, that reading fictional novels can be bad. And I said, well, how is that true? Because they were, they made this clip of this girl reading Harry Potter, and her friend like interrupted her to ask her if she wanted to go do something, and she like flipped out on her friend. Like, no, that doesn't actually happen. If you like, her friend like asked her to go to the mall or something, and she said, no, like she flipped out and like yelled at her friend. And in all reality, that doesn't happen. Like, you you get interrupted, and you might be a little irked, but you say no. I'd rather not today, I'd rather honestly stay home and read my book. And I've told my friends that. I've told my friends I want to stay home and read on a dreary day instead of go out and dress up and... I don't want to do that. I'm a teenager and I'm lazy. And just, I want other people's opinion. Can reading fictional novels or just books in general really be a, an addiction and a bad one at that? Like, I never thought reading could be considered a bad thing. So, if you have... I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts. Please message me on my channel. Obviously, you can find my channel from the video. If you're watching this, obviously. Well, thank you for your input, John Green. Your books are amazing. I'm such a fan. I've probably said this, like, three times. But, thank you.